Hey guys, this is Echo Sourx, and you are checking out a tutorial video for ADSR. This video is technically a Serum video, but it's not necessarily, and you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. So Serum just released, X for Records Serum, just released an update to their synthesizer that includes the FX version of Serum, which I have pulled up on the screen right now. What this is, is it's all of the effects, the effect rack that you get. You can move them around just like you can with Serum. You get this now and you can use it on an audio track or a software instrument tracks like a soft synth or a contact massive, whatever, silent. You can use it on any track in your DAW, which is really cool for a few reasons. First, it's cool because it gives, it gives Serum more flexibility, plain and simple. You can load this up and now let's load up a new track of Serum real quick. And I'll pull in, I'll pull in Serum. And what we're going to look at here is, let's say I have a lead that I really like. Let's let's load up a lead. We'll load up the dolphin lead from an upcoming sound set. All right, so it sounds like this. Okay, so let's say, let's look at the effects now. I have a lot of effects going on. I have the hyper dimension, the phaser, the delay, the compressor, the reverb, the EQ, the filter. Now the filter on this is doing a format a format filter. So with the effect version now, the Serum effects version, I can then load up another instance essentially of the filter. I could do a, uh, we could do a multi-stage filter. We could do another format. We could do a band reject. So now there's three filters on this sound. So you can use a few instances of this and get up to two and three uh, filters for your sound. Now it becomes really cool. Let's say on this original sound, let's say I was using, let's actually turn on the distortion here. We'll have it do after the dimension and phaser. So we will do it in between there. And let's say I'm using just a little bit of tube distortion. Okay. So let's go back to our effect version of Serum. And now I can use the distortion again. And let's say I wanted to use like the down sample. So now I can use two instances of that effect that you only get one instance instant in in Serum initially. So that's really cool. It's gonna make it's gonna make um, uh, it's gonna make Serum a more powerful synth, a more powerful option, a more versatile option. So outside of that, it, this also gives a very, very easy and concise way, at least in my opinion, from a sound design perspective, to make synths that maybe aren't that strong, a, a lot stronger and make them a more viable option for your production. So let's look at that real quick. So I'm pulling up an instance of the retro synth and for all you live users out there or maybe Cubase or another DAW, this is a synth that comes with Logic. It's a pretty cool synth. It gives you an analog, a sync, a tape, wavetable synth and a really basic FM synth. So I'm going to play a lead from it real quick. So you'll notice there's no effects except the chorus effect, and it's just a fairly basic synth, which is cool. It works for some sounds, but I have an instance of the Serum effects version now loaded up. I have the filter adding some, so it's basically I now have two filters going into it. I have the hyper dimension. This is one of my favorite effects and inside a serum and now it's going to be used all the time with other with other synths the hyper basically adds detuner unison so i can add detuner unison to this analog synth that doesn't really have that option necessarily and i also get the dimension expander and i threw on some de delay and reverb and let's ping pong the delay so again let me play this real quick just coming from the retro synth and now let's turn on the serum effects all right, so it's a whole different sound. It's much more modern, much more in your face, much more appropriate for a lot of genres, EDM, pop, all that sort of stuff. And it's all coming from the Serum FX rack. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why don't I just load up third-party plugins? And and I th you could for sure, but I actually really like that it's just in this all, it's all in one area. I don't have to think, okay, what do I want to load up? Let me go find, okay, I want to load up a reverb. I want to go load up a dimension expander, which I don't really have. Let me go load up something that creates unison, which I also don't really have. Now let me load up a distortion module. Let me load up delay. Let me load up reverb. 
I don't have to do that. I can do it all right here, and I can move these around, drag and drop. So definitely play around with this, guys, if you are CRM users. I think it's very cool, and it'll be able to make some of your synths, maybe your stock synths that come with your DAW, may breathe new life into them. So I also use this with an instance of Massive. Let me play this little demo for you real quick. <laughs> All right, so it's a cool sound. It's really big. Now, with a synth like Massive, you guys know I absolutely love Massive. It's probably my all-time favorite soft synth. And I only get two effects. Kind of a bummer, right? So I have the tube and I have a little bit of reverb. Well, let's say I wanted to use the Dimension Expander on this sound. Well, now I can with the Serum Effects version. And you can see I'm using both the Hyper and the Dimension. Now, there's two filters here. We got the Scream and we got the Low Pass 4. And we can now, I'm also going to blend in a format filter with that. Really easy to do. These are all things that I just could not do in Logic, and you'd have to have, go third party to do some of this stuff. I'm also using the multiband compression, which I really like. I did a tutorial on that a while ago on the ADSR network. Search for it if you're curious. But the multiband compressor is a great compressor inside of, well, there's a multiband option, and it really colors your sound in a nice glassy way, I would describe it. So let's actually listen to this now with the serum effects. All right, so serum effects on. Off. So they're both cool sounds, but I really think that the serum effects rack is really coloring that sound in a nice way and it allows me to do everything that I want to do to it whether it's reverb, uh, extra filtering, delay, EQ even, which I didn't even apply to it, I can do it all right there and I'm not stressing, you know, I'm not stressing my synth out with trying to figure those things out inside of a synth like Massive, which is kind of limited with effects and all that. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Definitely update, go and update your copy of Serum so you can use the Serum effects rack in your productions, in your software instrument tracks and your audio tracks. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.